The first two winters in my vintage story playthrough have been nothing less than a shit show. From nearly freezing to death every night to nearly starving to death every morning, fighting against wild animals every day just to make it to the next one, I figured it was about time that I utilize my fall season to really prepare myself for the harsh winter ahead. And if I can prepare well enough, I'll be able to spend the whole winter working on my manor adding the finishing touches and I think it's gonna look amazing. But first I've got a few large projects to tackle. I'm renovating the connector building from my workshop to my manor that leads out to the courtyard and out to the backyard where I have the uh, orchard. I'm gonna put a slate roof on here. I do love the sod roof but some of the light at night kind of shines through it and it doesn't look the best so I'm hoping putting a slate roof is gonna just make it look more solid. Plus it'll match the manor roof when I have that fully finished and I have a couple ideas for putting some windows on this roof. I really want to make little rounded like roofed windows that kind of just peek out towards the courtyard and the backyard. I think it'll make the inside hallway a little bit brighter and add a little more detail to the outside of this roof so it's not just flat. I'm just gonna make a bunch of leaded windows. I'm probably gonna need them for future window installments in the manor. So I'll just make eight, that'll do it. Then I'm just gonna slap this right here. Let's see, oh my God, it looks better than I, it looks better than I thought it was gonna look. That looks so cool. I love that so much. Okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put one on each side of the doors here. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's see, oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks good. I just gotta finish the rest of the roof here and then I'm thinking a three tall door right in the middle. And then I just have to mirror the whole thing on the other side, so this might take a bit longer, but it's definitely worth it. A Couple of episodes ago, I started making a orchard and I've got some good news and some bad news. We've got some growth on the right side here, but on the left side, I was a little bit less fortunate. Um, how many died here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven died, five lived, and so that's about 60% of them died, which is what it said when I planted them. It said 40% chance of survival, which is, I guess, what we got here. It is weird though, because the ones on the left side are all apple trees and the ones on the right side that survived were all pear trees. So I'm just wondering if I'm in the wrong climate for the apple trees. I might head out on a journey and look for some more before, uh, before winter starts, but at least I've got some pear trees growing and a lot of firewood now. Just looking on the bright side. I'm clearing out this area because I want to run the canal kind of back this way behind the orchard. So we'll run straight this way all the way to the lake pretty much. And then I also have these redwood seeds that I want to start planting because I want to know how big they are and what they look like. Redwood trees are probably my favorite type of tree in real life. So I'm hoping they live up to the expectation, but we'll find out. I want to continue this wall kind of towards the mountain. It's going to run from one of my smaller towers at the manor, just so I can clear out a bunch of room if I ever want to build like a bigger forge or more farmland, I'll have a good protected area that runs all the way to the mountain. I've got a decent amount of the wall mapped out with uh, debarked pine logs, so I'm gonna start digging out the canal. And the idea here is to run it from right here all the way around the side of the base, out to the lake, creating like a full 360 moat around the manor. The weather's getting a bit spooky, but I really wanna get as much of this done as I can. Still got some land to flatten. This is very frightening weather to be working on flat land. I have yet to be struck by lightning, but I've had some close, some close calls. I tried rounding up all the berry bushes the first spring that I was in the valley here, uh, and then I gave up for some reason. But now that I have some extra room and I'm starting to build a wall, I think it might be a good idea to kind of consolidate all the berry bushes in the area here and put them in a designated spot right beside the orchard. That way I can also collect a ton of berries to put in soups and stews, as well as just having it ready for next year. Found a couple of 28 bushes out there, pretty much within 50 meters each direction of the base, so I'll, I'll set these up in a nice pattern. Oh, 
I'll be uh, snacking on berries for a couple days here. I noticed there was a lot of cranberries in the area too, so I started a second row next to the blackberries. Or I guess they're not blackberries, they're black currant. And I know there's a lot of red and white currant berries, so I think I'm gonna make another patch of berry bushes on the other side of the orchard here. I've been slowly putting meat into crock pots here, using the berries as like uh, the fourth filler ingredient in the crock pot, just to kind of make the meat go a little bit further. I'm making four servings each pot here, and then I'm just gonna stockpile these hearty meat and berry stews. But I'm seeing the fall colors change and I think it's time to start ramping up food production here or else uh, I'm not going to have much free time in the winter. Okay, let's see here. I've got five bushes, six meat, 48 berries. The day's still young. <laughs> that bear was dead asleep and then it just swatted the boar and now it's it looks like it's asleep again. Oh, Jesus, no. I just want to kill the boar. Okay, I'll be back, I'll be back. Oh, or not. Okay, the wolves and the bears in this game are so scary. It's either they like, they give up immediately or they like chase you for 50 miles, camp outside your house until you leave and then jump you. There's no in between. I've almost got all the cranberry bushes. I think I need three more, but it's uh, it's really coming together. It's taking shape. It's looking like a lot of my winter meals are gonna consist of red meat and berry stews. Sounds tasty, I'm okay with it. I wanna place another berry crop the exact same size as the other one on the other side of the orchard here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start mapping that out now. I'm thinking half red currant, half white currant, cause that's kind of what's in the area, so. Just use what I got. I've been using the packed dirt to kind of space out the berry bushes and it works perfectly. I'm thinking of just doing a huge berry bush adventure tomorrow and then, oh my God deal with this in the morning and then i will focus on hunting so berry bush adventure big hunt and then just big into the winter prep things are looking good though maybe not at this exact moment but looking into the future things are looking up no 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 get your ass back here okay how many are oh my god put this little metal fence here and they just get stuck on it. They can't, they can't figure it out. Oh my god, bush wolf. No. I love when they run to water for safety. Angry pig, no. I went out looking for berries and I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hello berries. I think this is red currant. Yeah, red currant. I'll plant this on the left side of the orchard with the white currant. Get that red and white going. Canadian colors. It's looking great. I love the look of this. I'm excited to see what it looks from a top down view. I'm gonna wait till I kind of complete it before I get a bird's eye view on it, but this, I love it. With the canal in the background here, perfect. Killing that goat reminded me I have not fed my own goats in like five days. They seem to be okay though. Not even trying to murder me, which is a good sign. I think I've got enough for two pots here. Two pots of four servings. And then I got nine left, which isn't enough to make four servings, so I'm gonna go try and find some rabbits, maybe? I know where at least one is. There's been a rabbit stuck in here for like a year and a half, and I think it's time. I'm sorry, buddy. 
Not sure what he's been eating. This is my like grain and seed storage. So I guess that makes sense in my head. I'll make it make sense. And then we got this guy. He crawled under this gear as a baby and then he got stuck because he grew up. Again, I don't know what he's been eating, but uh, I'll take the meat. starting to stockpile a decent amount of food here. Hopefully I can fill all of these shelves by December. Might be wishful thinking, but I'll keep hunting. It is September 2nd. I'm looking I'm looking classy with my crown on here. This might be my last day hunting for berry bushes at least. I don't have armor on. I my sword's almost broken. There's wolves all over here, so I'm going to try to avoid animals altogether today and just just get that berry orchard done. I found and marked a few more pink apple trees in the area here, and I'm going to chop this one down, try and plant it before winter hits, and if this doesn't grow by next spring, I think my best bet is just to plant more pear trees. Quartz, wait, no, that's not, native gold bits? Gold in quartz bits in granite. Okay, um, Eureka, I guess? I'm grabbing this. Okay, here's the quartz. Is there actually any gold in here or was it just that? Oh, here we go, native gold ore. I figured it would spawn way deeper than this. This is like maybe 20 blocks above sea level. I think it, m yeah, I think it might just be one block of gold, like one block of gold ore. Okay, come on, too much stuff in my inventory. Classic. Okay, all right, there we go. Rich chunk of native gold in quartz, 15 units of gold. That's not gonna get me too far, but I did find a little bit on my last journey. I don't think it's enough to even make an ingot yet, but it's a start. There's so many berries around here, I love it. Ooh, look at that. There's That's pretty close to my house. There's a trader right here, like, tucked behind this mountain, right beside my house. Maybe not right beside, but real close, surrounded by berry bushes nonetheless. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh my god, agricultural trader? That's the best kind, that's the best kind. He's got food, food to sell, tools to buy. He had a bed, so I might just spend the evening looking for berries and whatnot, and then uh, come back here, sleep, and head home. Perfect distance from my house. I have a locust nest, yeah, right, marked on my map right here. I'm assuming I stumbled upon it very early into the game and was scared of it, but now I know I can one-shot most of these things, so gonna try and loot it without my armor of course let's see how this goes there's a few nests left I just gotta watch my step here there's spikes everywhere spawning has slowed down though There's a Jonas part. Get out of here. I just want that Jonas part. Get off me. Oh no. He's like flying. Get away from me. There we go. Alright, that's all the locust nests, but now drifters are starting to spawn. I'm gonna run back to that caravan, sleep, and then head home. Alright, orchard is completely filled out now on both sides berries and trees. Whether those trees are gonna grow is to be determined, but they are planted, so we'll find out, I guess. I really gotta do something with this tower. It's just falling into disrepair. This is this is the ladder to get up. It's so sketchy. I gotta climb across this. I've even got these nice windows carved out. I just haven't done anything with this for like a year and a half in game. But look at that orchard. Oh boy, does that ever look good. Got perfect rows. 
Oh, oh, I love it. I might not get berries from it this year, but next year I'm going to be just, I'll be swimming in berries and pears and maybe apples, but that's, uh, yeah, we'll see. I've got a bunch of duplicate tapestries at this point, so I kind of want to make like a tapestry wall here as the entrance to like my main hall. I think it will make it look quite cozy. There's probably infinitely more important things I should be using this linen on, but I'm gonna put it on the wall here because I think it'll look cool. Yeah, I like that. It's gonna give it like, like a hunter's lodge kind of feel. And if I can find a bunch more of those antlers to like hang up on the walls or over the fireplace here, it's just gonna feel like rustic and really cozy and I, I, I'm excited. All right, I'm definitely far from completing this tower. Although I do have a bunch of sails. I think all the sails are pretty much done. I think I need one, two, three, four, five sails on each thing. And I, I think I've got that. So functionally, it's complete. Visually, I'm not happy with it. So I'll definitely be like slowly adding to this tower. But I also have my manor, my walls, and my canal slash moat to work on. So I've got a few projects on the go. Next thing I want to do, just to get out of the way, is continue the canal from from pretty much the orchard here out to the first lake, which leads out to the big lake. Uh, but that's my next project, so I'm going to start digging that out. I haven't decided if I want to build a tunnel here right beside the manor, or if I just want to keep it as an open canal. What is <laughs> There's meteoric iron right here? What do you... I thought there had to be a crater. There's no way. This is like, this is like maybe 10 feet from where I built the manor. What are you? I literally went on a three day trip to search for meteoric iron and I didn't find any. And I've been just sitting on top of it the whole time. <laughs> oh my, oh my God, it keeps going. How much is here? How much is here? Oh my God, at least four, at least four blocks of it. This is the, mm, it's almost the it's pretty much the most i've ever seen it keeps going this is the most i've ever seen this is crazy it's right beside me oh my god 19 that's enough for 10 ingots and i might i might have some left over in the forge so i might i might get like 10 ingots of meteoric iron out of this six in this one three in this one i'm gonna get nine in total that is a nice boost to my meteoric iron supply. Back to the project at hand here. I'm gonna keep it, I'm not gonna build a tunnel here, I don't think, not yet at least. I'm gonna get it done first before it freezes over in the winter, and then I'll think about it in the spring, I guess. It's pretty much done. I've got the water in place. I'm gonna worry about finishing it in the spring because I have a lot of meal prepping to get done here. Got a bit more iron I can process here. I'm gonna turn it into chains and then repair my armor so I can go on a hunt and not die. I hear a wolf in the distance. That's, that's an ongoing problem this fall. There are wolves coming from the left side of the lake relentlessly. So, I'm definitely going to want this armor. Alright, I want to repair my chest piece. So I need leather, the chains, and the chest piece, and then it does a little bit of repair, that should be enough. And then the leggings, same thing, good to go. And then for some reason the helmet didn't take as much damage, so... Not sure why that is, but uh, saves me some resources, so I appreciate it. I swear I just heard a bear. It's, there he is. There's the bastard. Let's see if we can't play a little game here. Okay, okay, I can hit him. Play a little bit of a, oh my god, ring around the rosy here. Ah! Alright, here's the plan. I grab the spear, I come back, line it up, smoke him with it, keep running, keep running. <laughs> you dumbass. Yeah. Yeah, 
That's right, punk. You just got outplayed. Another bear for the bear pit. Let's go. Is this moose coming for me? No, not, not anymore. Oh no. No, don't jump. No, stop. Stop. Stop running. Stop running. No. Oh no. It's just gonna crush itself. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. That's, yeah. He's crushed. <laughs> I keep having to chase these boars into the water because I can't really chase them on land. There's like 50 wolves. That might be an over-exaggeration, but there is like a lot of wolves over here. This is definitely wolf territory. I've kind of just ignored them, oh my god, for two years. And, uh, and paddled across the lake. Oh my god. But I think they're multiplying. Oh my god, I can't even hit them. Yeah, I think it might be on site. I'm just gonna kill them when I see them because they keep wandering over my base and just attacking me at the worst time. So I think it's I think it's time to depopulate these things. There's too many of them. All right, this is like the 10th wolf I've killed. And I know there's at least one left somewhere over here. And let me tell you, he's not getting away. I know, he's in one of these bushes. He ran towards the water this way. I don't see him in the water. There he is. Yeah. I've just been throwing away the meat I get from the wolves, uh, which I probably shouldn't be doing, but I really just want the fat. And I've collected 23 fat today, so that means I've killed a lot of animals. I am quickly running out of crock pots here, and I definitely have more meat than can fit in the crock pots for storage, so I might have to make some more. Definitely gonna have to make some more. I have so much meat here. I'm definitely gonna need more than four, but I need more clay. <laughs> Alright, we got four rows of eight here. So four times eight is 16, 32, 32 meals on that side alone. So that'll get me through like 64 days maybe if I'm having two servings a day, which I think will get me well through the winter. The, the months are shorter than 30 days. They're like 10 days. So I that should get me through like almost a year, I think. I'm feeling good. I even have a bit more cooking right now, so this is perfect. I'm gonna do a little bit of mining and go visit the trader, see what they're selling, see if I can make any money, or I'm probably just gonna end up losing money, but that's how it goes. Man, I love this tunnel. It was so much work, but it's so worth it. I'm gonna paddle down to the middle exit here, run straight east, see if I can't find any uh, surface ores. Do I still have granite in here? I do. Okay, I left that there from when I was excavating the tunnel. I'll grab that if I ever need more cobblestone. Bear's still chilling over here. I'm gonna have to go around. I built this tunnel for convenience, but this bear is really, uh, really messing with it. I found a new floating trader. I'm not sure how that works, but I've never actually seen the bottom of one of these. Interesting. Got here. Lynn, Lynn the furniture trader. Okay, I like furniture. Furniture is one of my favorite things. Oh my god, I'm gonna spend all my money here. Iron door. Cool. Painting. Cheap copper lanterns, okay, okay. 
I'll buy four copper lanterns. Why not? Why not? I got the money. I might as well spend it. Torch holder has got enough of those. I'll just buy all the paintings. I'll just waste my money on paintings. That painting. And I want to make like a gate. It won't be usable, but it'll look cool. I want to make like an iron gate in my canal somewhere. Maybe at the front of the manor. So I'm just going to buy. I'm going to buy all that. And I got six gears left, so I'm just gonna buy a few more, because why not? Why not? Oh, I, I feel like I shouldn't have done that, but... but I like furniture. Yo, there's lava in this game? I doubt I can do anything with this, but it looks cool. I love the little sparks and the smoke flying out of it. Very cool. Very, very cool. There's definitely locust nests down there. A ton of drifters. Oh, they, there's drifters up here too, but they, they're they all like running into the lava and just dying. What if I dig a hole under the lava here and create a little like puddle of lava? Can I get them to just like walk into it? Yeah, the drifters up here trying to attack me just walk right into the lava. They just want to die in the fire, I guess. If they yearn for the lava, I'll give them the lava. Here it comes. Hop in. I think this might work. I've got to, like, get them to follow me. I'm just going to jump over the lava. Oh, no, I'm on fire. I think I'm on fire. Oh, God. Uh doesn't do that much damage but I don't know if it's gonna is it just gonna am I gonna be on fire forever okay no I'm good okay lesson learned don't jump over the lava but I think they did follow me in I don't I still hear some but I don't see any yeah there's only one still alive it looks like a few crawled out and died outside of the lava yep yep fall in that's right Okay, okay, now I gotta get all these locusts. I gotta get a wave of locusts here to jump in, and then I can destroy their nests. Come on, follow me. Yeah, watch them burn. Yeah. Burn, burn. Hey, stop throwing rocks at me. Jump in the, yeah, jump in the lava. Yes, they're so dumb. Okay, I think that's everything. Burnt to a crisp. I'm just gonna go for the nest now can take a little bit of damage here okay now follow me follow me it's that easy it's that easy come on break okay yeah I think that's all of them once I finish off this wave there's just rocks defying gravity right here, bouncing up and... Okay, nope, nope, nope. When those appear, I, that means it's time to leave. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out our other wild gameplay videos and series, and stay tuned for more Vintage Story episodes. See ya.